Welcome to Dockside Chats, another 100 degree edition today. Okay. How are you doing in the heat? It's a little warm. It is a little but warm. But I'll make it. We've got Julie Healy here for a business spotlight. And I want you to tell us the name of your business and then spell it out for us. <laughs> it's Clear Sense Bookkeeping, C-E-N-T-S Sense, like dollars and cents, because we make clear sense of your business books. I love it. I think the first thing we'd probably like to know is, who is the perfect business for you? The service business who is realizing that they can't do everything themselves. It's a growing business. Uh, they're trying to do everything. They need help. They acknowledge that they need help and they seek help. That to me is an ideal client. Okay. And do they need to be local to Discover Bay in the Delta or could they be anywhere? Uh, anywhere. Oh. Everything I do is remote and uh, I've never met probably 50% of my clients. How long have you been in business for? Uh, officially two and a half years. Okay. But I've been doing bookkeeping since 2005. Show me the, the kind of uh, structure that you'd set up for us. So I use QuickBooks Online. Uh, we would connect your bank accounts, your business bank accounts, that are separate from your personal accounts, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the tip. <laughs> Um, I get in there on a weekly basis, if not more, categorize transactions, um, make sure that everything is correct. On a monthly basis, I run reports. Um, we go over reports. You actually get a whole uh, management, um, management report. So it's got all of your financial statements. It's got some metrics in there. What are the typical uh, small business owners that come to you? What kind of businesses? I do not have two of the same type. Um, pretty much anybody that realizes that they need help. So I have a doctor, a lawyer, an author, um, a mechanic. I don't think anybody should be expected to do every single part of their business. And I, I think it's a, a misconception when you go into business. And, and it, you know, a lot of people have to learn the hard way. Three tips for small business owners. Separate your business from your personal expenses. Number one, that's the biggest thing. You can't tell you how many people think, oh, I'll just run it through my personal account. Oh, I paid for this with my personal account. Oh, I bought groceries with my business account. It's a mess. You got to keep them separate. Um, do your bookkeeping. And if you don't know how to do it, get help. So what's the best way to get a hold of you? Oh, I think probably the best way is through my website, clearsense.org, C-E-N-T-S. C-E-N-T-S, clearsense.org. And then uh, what about a direct phone? 530-370-2647. People still do that these days, right? They do. Make phone calls and stuff. Every now and then. And of course, they can text you if they're a little shy. Right? They can. All they right. can. All right, Julie, thanks. Great day. Thank you. Fantastic Love, day. love your business and uh, definitely give her a call. She'll take care of you. Until next time on Dockside Chats.